California Typewriter is a documentary currently available on Amazon. I heard it referenced on Tom Papa's podcast, Breaking Bread with Tom Papa, in the episode where he had Anthony Jeselnik on. And here's the official synopsis. California Typewriter is a story about people whose lives are connected by typewriters. The film is a meditation on creativity and technology featuring Tom Hanks, John Mayer, Sam Shepard, David McCullough, and others. David McCullough, by the way, dope documentary about writing for my fellow writers out there, which is a, a great doc in and of itself. I'm sure others could find enjoyment and pull gems from it. It's called Painting with Words. I think I've spoken about it on the podcast. It feels like years ago, but definitely worth a watch. But yeah, this was a pretty interesting doc all about typewriters, which sounds boring as shit, <laughs> but it really wasn't. I learned that Tom Hanks, for example, has 250 typewriters. He collects them, obviously. And I learned that there's this whole underworld of folks that collect. I know Stephen Pressfield does. I know Jack Carr does. And different people are into like different eras of typewriters. People seek them out in auctions. People seek out the typewriters that belong to people like Thomas Jefferson, for example, or like a famous writer. And throughout this doc specifically they show a few people that are into the typewriter for different reasons they showed the lives of this family run shop in california called the california typewriter where they repair and buy and sell typewriters there's another gentleman that i actually started following on instagram who breaks down old typewriters into their individual parts and components and he builds these sculptures from them these like mechanical humanoid looking sculptures and not just humanoid like robot looking ones although he does do that but also made like a deer and a lotus flower and like different types of works of art just from these exclusively typewriter pieces john mayer is in it the singer and he he says that he likes the typewriter because it doesn't judge you he described how like when you write on a computer or even freehand you kind of like self-editing and self-correcting as you go. But the typewriter, because it's this like singular on paper, nobody's going to see it thing that also happens very quickly as you're typing. He described it as letting you tap into stream of consciousness much more easily. He quoted the typewriter saying, right away, sir, whatever you want, sir, like as you type, which is definitely an interesting way to look at it. There's also this group <laughs> which was funny and interesting and cool but weird at the same time this is a group called the boston typewriter orchestra aka bto and it is exactly what it sounds like <laughs> it's a band of five people that make music using typewriters it's again five people all of which i'm sure are nice people but a couple of them if in the future it came out that they were serial killers I wouldn't be surprised is all I'm saying, but very nice seeming folks. And they literally make music that sounds fucking cool <laughs> with the typewriter, just like clicking and clanking on the keys and clink like that. And they do covers of songs and make their own songs and fucking pretty dope in their own right. Not for nothing. And the doc obviously, you know, breaks down like the history of the typewriter and who invented the typewriter, different iterations of it throughout history the last company that manufactured typewriters in the world which was in india finally closed down a few years ago and i just thought how it was interesting showing all these different groups of people and different types of people from different walks of life gravitating towards and resonating with this same one thing one type of thing a typewriter which i would love to have by the way if i had like the space for it just like sitting on my desk somewhere I'm not sure if it should be like a cool vintage looking one or more modern one. We'll see one day. And I do remember having one as a kid in when I was like in elementary school, I want to say. I remember it for some reason being in my parents room under their bed. That's where we like stored it. Unless that's a false memory, but that's how I'm remembering it. And it was in like this hard plastic case box type of thing. And I do remember writing a paper or two on there for school in elementary school but yeah the last thing i'll say about it is that i really found interesting someone compared typewriting to
to the slow cooking movement. And he said that the point is to take your time and enjoy what you're doing. Enjoy the process of what you're doing. Efficiency is not the paramount value. The point of using the typewriter is to, again, enjoy what you're doing. And I thought that to be an interesting take on that. The documentary, again, is called California Typewriter, and it is available for your streaming pleasure on Amazon. Check it out.